Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Yesterday, this investigative reporter set up a tripartisan forward observation camp south of Brightwood to investigate the rumors of a giant bird. Fortune smiled upon us and we witnessed the mighty hen appear in front of us, enabling a full investigation. That full story is available on the card above, but tonight's top story is the early matchup. Primordus Virtue Leadership has had enough with encroaching factions using Weaver's Fin as a base camp for deployment and have declared their very first war on the Loyalists to stop it. Accelerating this decision was the influx of refugees to Brightwood, fleeing the Fen for lack of focus on those needing food and medicine. The winters in Aeternum are harsh, so Prince Jarvan has made clear his intentions to distribute heating oil to the citizenry if successful. Then, in the primetime matchup, the split forces of Elysian must contend with Sea and Panda on one front and Pacific Raven Company on another. Sea and Panda once again attempting to reclaim the bamboo forest preserves in Ebenscale from the forces of Elysian who have not interfered with civic development of tourism to the Healing Hot Springs. This will mark the third time Sea and Panda has attempted to claim what they consider to be their forever home, but Elysian forces have grown accustomed to relaxing in the spas, so they have vowed to come out focused and fresh. Both of Elysian's simulated conflict resolutions tonight are sponsored by LARPCO. Only LARPCO has their patented Space Age foam core technology that's built for safety and built to last. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Finally tonight, it will be Pacific Raven Company switching up its strategy and making a play against Elysian in Monarch's Bluff. Perhaps these marauders thought the faction of intelligence would be more of a pushover than those of faith. Of course, Elysian welcomes all challengers who dare to question the precision of their war strategies and look forward to the outcome. Be sure to tune in for reactions and commentary from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been war correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.